Alright, we're back with some more Trauma Team. On the last episode, we were just about to put these two cards together. Let's do that. We can deduce the victim's condition within this room by putting these facts together. Veronica was crawling on the floor. It's likely that this is because of the mysterious disease she was suffering from. It sapped her strength to the point that she was unable to even stand. She had an attack of her disease inside this room. We shine the card. Solid evidence. Sudden attack card had been obtained. So I think we... Yeah, conclusion reached. The case has been solved. The dead shall speak. Let's put together the truth of what happened here. A woman's skeleton was found 50 kilometers downriver of the city. The victim's name is Veronica Cage. She was 23 years old. She was suffering from some sort of illness. It caused her severe pain along with mental instability. When she couldn't go on, she snapped and turned violent. This card shows the truth of that emotional state. There's evidence that Veronica had become increasingly aggressive. Veronica's violence, the fractured finger, and the parent's injuries are likely both due to Veronica's violent outbursts. The patient had frequently physically assaulted her parents. This same disease finally caused her own death as well. This card shows evidence of that final attack. Let's see. Sudden attack. Veronica crawled on the floor during her final moments, vomited a lethal amount of blood, and died. Yes, there were traces of blood at her room's entrance. During the attack, she writhed in agony about the room. The shattered mirror is evidence of that violent behavior. Eventually, her strength gave out and she collapsed. She used the last of her strength to try to leave the room. However, her one final wish was left unanswered. This card speaks to that sad truth. When Veronica tended to leave the room, this is what happened. Sealed door. The pattern of the blood stain and the scratches indicate that Veronica had been had been locked in this room. <sighs> in her fading consciousness, she tore at the door. But she died there, and the culprits carried her body out. The proof of this is on this card. Proof that Veronica was taken from the room by someone else is. Proof of abduction. The fact that the earring was torn from her ear proves that the victim wasn't in control when she left. Exactly. The earring caught on something while she was being carried. She was already dead when the earring was torn from her ear. Most likely, her death surprised the ones responsible. They then cleaned the room to hide any signs she was there. But whoever cleaned the room had poor eyesight. And thus did not see the earring among the mirror shards. The body had to be hidden as well. Their plan was to throw the body off a bridge eight kilometers away but they were scared off by a pair of oncoming headlights. This culprit, with a bad back, gave up and fled the scene. Those headlights belonged to the blue truck. The driver could not avoid the body and ran over her. The driver believed he had killed her and dumped the body. Ironically, what he did only completed the culprit's plan. 
This card has proof that she was already dead when run over. The proof that Veronica was already dead when she was run over is the truth behind the fractures. The condition of the fractures proves that the victim was already dead when the auto accident occurred. Hiding a corpse is a crime, but the driver wasn't the murderer. The ones responsible are those who locked her away to die. She sought help, not knowing that none would ever come. Her last words are the proof of that desperation. Veronica's last desperate words were... This is the whole truth in how her life was cut short. Uh. I don't know what the dead want, but the truth must come out. I'm going to see the ones who cut your life's thread short. medical examiner. What brings you here? Your daughter died in suffering. <sighs> she struggled, she shouted, and she clawed at her door. She tried to escape so terribly that her own nails tore off. Why didn't you open the door? There was no choice. We wanted her to be happy. We wanted her to be normal. We never thought this would... Her death may have been inescapable. But you defiled her death in order to protect yourselves. That can never be forgiven. When death came to you, did you suffer? <sighs> Soon I will know for myself. What's she talking about? Miss Kimishima, your test results have come back. I see. Let me ask you up front. How long do I have until my flame goes out? A year, at best. Maybe six months. Oh. I understand. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, Dr. Kimishima, the helicopter's here to take you to the lab. All right. Thank you. Rosalia. What is this? Someone's name? Rosalia? Dr. Kimishima, are you all right up there? Uh, yes, I'm fine. I'll be right down. Rosalia. Rosalia. Huh. Something's weird. Next seems to be Tomoe's thing. Great. But anyway, I think we'll end this episode off here because we finally completed Naomi's mission. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll check y'all out later. <laughs>